Okay, once again, uh, welcome back to the 2016 Big East Women's Basketball Tournament presented by the Jeep brand. Congratulations to the number four seed, St. John's Red Storm, 75-66 winners over top seed DePaul. First time since 2006 that the number one seed is not in the Big East title game, only the fifth time overall. Second time that the number four seed has advanced first since 1984, and it is the first ever seven versus four matchup in the Big East title game. Head coach Joe Tartamella from St. John's, along with Aliyah Hanford and Deneja Grant, as usual, will start with an opening statement from coach. Coach, congratulations on the victory. Thank you. Uh, couldn't be prouder of our effort. Uh, obviously, uh, a very tough place to play with the stakes. What you know, where the stakes were in this in this type of game, uh, to be able to perform at the level that we did against a great team. Um, is fun to watch, um, and that's what you want to see when you get into the postseason. I thought we did a great job of keeping ourselves in the game, even when they made a couple of runs. They went into the half with two back-to-back -back threes, started the third quarter hot. Uh, we were able to sustain uh, their runs, and then being able to really have uh, the legs and the energy in the fourth quarter to kind of take over. I think uh, as I was leaving, they told us we made the, the last 11 field goals. So uh, that's a that's a big time. Uh, Big time way to play in a big moment. And so, so happy for our players and for our program to have an opportunity. Uh, again, uh, I think it's two and three years to be able to have a chance to uh, win a championship. So uh, this is what these, these ladies have worked for all year. Um, and, and this would be a, a great moment for these two young ladies to my right uh, to be able to finish their career with a championship. Uh, so we're excited to get ready for tomorrow. Coach, thank you very much. Uh, one final reminder before we open it up to the student athletes for Q&A, just silence your cell phones if you can. Uh, and again, name and affiliation, uh, please, with your questions. We'll start it off with Matt. Matt Schumacher, Big East Digital Network. Aaliyah, your coach talked about before the game that this was going to be a, a big time environment and to use that to your advantage to, to up your passion on the court. What was it like playing in that environment tonight? Um, credit to DePaul. Um, it was just great just having fun out there. Uh, we stayed as a team, we stayed focused, and most of all, we played defense. Hello, I'm Danielle from Swish Appeal. Um, Aliyah, you had uh, 23 points today, and on the 20th point, I saw you flex over to the crowd. Can you just talk about the confidence that you had bringing into tonight's game? Hey, I was just happy for me and my teammates. And we was on in the fourth quarter, and we kept going. And we never let down. We just kept picking ourselves up, each other up. And when I scored that bucket, I was just more than happy because we kept getting up. Uh, Kim Adams, Big East Digital Network. Ali, I, ha I haven't seen someone take over a game like that in a while. Just what kind of switch went off in your head or what were you thinking at that time when you just completely went off? Hey, this is our last year. and. <clears throat> we fought all year to get here, and I just was like, I was just in a moment, like something just clicked, and I just went off. John Fanta, Big East Digital Network. I'll start with you, Aaliyah. I, I mean, this this is a, a tremendous victory for you. Where does this <clears throat> one rank in your career? Um, you know, I'm speechless right now. I'm just happy. At the moment, um, we're just going to be ready tomorrow. I don't, I don't know. Just reach this right now. You, you've always been a defensively oriented <coughs> a group throughout this season, known to get stops. How exactly did you slow down DePaul tonight? Um, we know them. if we turn over the ball, they're going to get out in transition. So we had to stop turning over the ball, and which we did. And we just stayed focused and just played great defense. Denasia. You guys combined tonight for 43 points. Just what is it that has made you two such a dynamic duo? Uh, I think we just complement each other. Um, when she's on, the defense tends to focus on her. Then that opens up lanes for me and vice versa. What would it mean to give this program tomorrow night a Big East championship? Uh, it would mean everything. I mean, this is um, the highest achievement right now in this moment. So. I mean, it just it would be great to send us off uh, with the championship, you know, and get him his first one. So, be proud. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, do we have any other questions for the student athletes? 
Okay, great. Ladies, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. You can head out through the back door and we'll reset here and take Q&A for Coach. All right, we'll open it up to Q&A for Coach, and once again, name and affiliation, please. Okay. Eugene Evans from College Sports Overload. Coach, before that run in the fourth quarter to close the game out, there was a mini run you guys went on towards the end of the third quarter, a 6-0 run. Tell me about those back-to-back -back turnovers you guys managed to get that led to layups that were contested on the other end. Yeah, you know, I don't probably remember the particular ones. I think we were able to uh, get a deflection or get a kind of a, a dig down on, on their bigs, on their entry passes. So we just kind of got, uh, uh, because of our activity, we got, you know, we, we got a, the ability to get a steal and then to be able to run out. The biggest thing is we were able to finish. Um, I thought there were a couple plays probably during that too where, um, I mean, we made some plays that I haven't seen us make in a long time over the last few weeks where we recovered with such uh, ferocity uh, and then the ability not to foul. Um, along with, we got a little bit lucky a couple times on some deflections and some steals. I thought Aaliyah Lewis made a huge play. It was a three on one and she got a steal and then we got an open layup on the other end. So those plays are huge momentum swings. So I thought we did a good job getting some deflections. We had great activity, um, you know, and that's, that's kind of been a staple for us. If we can do that, it's a lot easier. We scored 75 tonight, which has been hard for us. So that's part of the reason why. And then the follow-up, I asked you last night about how the last game ended with the Paul with late game executions. Just from an emotional standpoint, how does it feel to be on the other end of it now, especially in a big situation? Yeah, I mean, you, you always feel good when you can get a win. Um, you know, our players were uh, very focused that shoot around today, especially when they woke up um, coming off last night's game. And, you know, I thought we played really hard. I mean, I, at halftime, I told our, our players, I thought we played as hard as we've played all year. I mean, we were down six. I mean, it just shows you where you're at, but you gave it back-to-back -back three. So, you know, I thought we did a great job. I mean, uh, a lot of energy. Uh, this team has a chance to be, you know, special here for everybody in our, you know, in our community. And, you know, we hope we're able to finish it off. But, I mean, you can't ask for anything else other than having a chance to win and be in that game tomorrow night. Matt DeMarinas, White and Blue Review. Coach, congratulations, first of all. Uh, Thanks. I guess... It might not be fair to call it a rivalry, but you, uh, St. John's and Creighton, have kind of butted heads in big situations, especially in the Big East tournament the last few years. I guess to call it a rivalry probably isn't fair since you've won most of them, but I mean, does it seem fitting that you two are meeting here, you know, with another high stakes situation? Yeah, I mean, you know what? Uh, I, I've said this year after year. Um, you know, I have so much respect for Jim's, for, for Creighton and Jim's program and, and what he does. And it just seems like we just find a way to, to match up against each other every year in the Big East tournament. Um, so, I mean, they, they are as hot as you can be. Uh, I mean, they beat, us, they beat us up at home last week. I mean, so uh, they're playing very well, uh, very much together. Uh, and that's why they are where they are right now. Um, so to, to see what they've done in the, in the last two weeks, um, you know, obviously they're very hot. And so, you know, yes, we've played against each other and, and we seem to find these moments. Um, so, you know, we hope that, uh, you know, we're able to, to show the rest of the country again what our league's about tomorrow night in the championship game. I guess the senior day game was obviously fresh in your mind. From just what you can recall from that matchup and the kind of things they were able to do to get the victory, what do you think the keys were to, you know, dropping that game and maybe the adjustments you need to make tomorrow night? Uh, Without giving away too much of your secret. Well, it was going to be funny, but I didn't decide not to be. Um, you know, I, I you know I don't know. I mean, you look at how they play. I mean, we 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 beat them at their place. They beat us at our place. Um, they're a very disciplined team who can make outside shots if they get hot. It's a it's a difficult situation for you. McGorry's playing very well. Uh, Faber's playing very well, but their other guys are great too. Lam I mean, you forget about Lamberty, she's going to hurt you. You forget about Owen, she's going to hurt you. They they do a great job. Um, they do a great job of running offense, the way they execute, similar to DePaul, similar to what Villanova does to you. Um, but they're playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, so for us, you know, we've got to play our game and, and, and be able to make adjustments from the last one and uh, you know, come out tomorrow night and, and play with high energy and play with discipline and just like any other game we prepare for. Um, so I, I don't know if it helps you, but that's, that's what it looks like. Uh, there have been games where you've had struggled to score 34 points and a half before. Today you finished the fourth quarter with 34. 
I guess. Yeah, thanks, man. Do you, <laughs> I guess what were, what were some of the things you saw as far as the flow offensively that you know led to that hot stretch? You know, we made shots, but we also created easier shots for ourselves. We made some tough ones, I mean, during that last stretch, but I thought we created some some easier ones for us. I thought we did a much better job at the free throw line. I mean, we made seven threes, man. I mean, we don't make seven threes. So, I mean, for us, that's a big piece uh, to the game. Akina Willaire, uh, you know, I thought had her best game in a St. John's uniform uh, tonight. And so everybody was, you know, did a great job. I mean, you forget it. What you forget about what D and Aaliyah do. I mean, D has a double double, and you just think it's normal. Uh, it's not. You know, I mean, and the kid played played her butt off, and I thought Aaliyah Lewis was tremendous, and we needed her to be. So, um, you know, I thought we we were able to make the shots we needed to. I mean, we made big shot, shot clock winding down, big shot. I mean, uh, you know, they they were in the moment, and they need to stay in that moment. I hope for one more night.